So a few weeks ago, I decided to bite the bullet and buy an Elgato Stream Deck. And it has been absolutely amazing. You can check out a review of it up there. But the one thing I noticed about the Elgato Stream Deck, it is a great device. I love it. And I would actually be just fine with some of the stuff that Elgato included with it. But the fact that there are plugins that you can download that gives this way more functionality and features is something that I've grown to love so much, which is why we're gonna be talking about five of my favorite plugins for the Elgato Stream Deck. What's going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be talking about my top five favorite Elgato Stream Deck plugins. And these things are really cool. Some of these might not apply to the use cases that you use your computer for. And I can understand that because there's two tools on here that you may not even touch at all, but there's some of them that you may like. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and take a look at the Stream Deck software and see what programs I'm talking about. All right, so now that we're over the computer, Let's go ahead and take a look at where we go ahead and find our plugins. And then I'll talk about my five favorite uh, plugins that I'm currently using. I expect this to change over time. So simply click on that little button there. And then we're going to go to the plugin section. So we'll go to plugins and we'll look down through this list and we can find all the different plugins that we want and click on install and then they're ready for you to start configuring and using. So there is that. I will refer to them uh, just by saying the name of them from now on. You can go find them in the store. It's super easy to find and they don't cost you any extra money. So Kahoot or <clears throat> Kahoots. That is awesome. I'm so glad I don't have to buy plugins. So let's get started first with our first one. It's gonna be Discord. Discord is something I use all the time. And if you can see right here in the page view, I've got Discord on almost every tab because I join the Discord with my friends this way. I can mute, I can deafen, and I can just move around that quickly with the Elgato Stream Deck. And I love that feature. So you can go ahead and find that plugin and we can see what options we have. We have the option to be able to mute our microphone and it comes with some default icons. I just kind of made some of my own. So definitely really neat that they come with their own icons. You can add the ability to deafen, um, what text channel you wanna join. We could actually change that if you wanted to. Um, we can set up push to talk, push to mute, and even join certain, like I said, voice or text channels at the push of a button. So really, really neat. And this is why this is probably my number one favorite plugin inside of the Stream Deck. I know it sounds kind of uh, lazy to not just wanna tab over into something like Discord, but this right here is saving me a ton of time. And I'm actually probably gonna add a text channel to um, this main first page here soon because our general chat that we use is constantly, there's pictures, videos and stuff being uploaded to it and we're all talking about. So I'm actually probably gonna add that button here in just a second. Number two, my second favorite plugin, I guess, and kind of after the first one, they're all kind of mushed together a little bit on what my favorite is, is Wind Tools uh, by Bar Raider. You will notice that's a common theme. Bar Raider has made a ton of cool plugins for the Stream Deck and yeah, I'll reference them probably quite a bit. The first one that I like inside of here is the ability to modify playback audio. This right here, if I click here and we can see that I've got my headphones and my TV set up. So I can literally press one of those buttons and it changes from playing music back or whatever I'm watching from my headphones to my TV or vice versa. I can mess with all of that, that's cool. And everything in here, um, minus these two macros that I've got set up, are using functions of wind tools by Bar Raider. I can see drive space and storage. I can see information on how long my computer's been up, the latency to servers, and whether or not my ethernet port's working. We have the ability to start and stop services, set the primary monitor, which is actually pretty cool. And we can even change virtual desktop stuff and a bunch of other details. So if you're a Windows Power user, you might like having all of this on a stream deck and just a few pages dedicated to this. It's something that's really nice and I really enjoy it. Number three is Discord Volume Mixer. I love Discord Volume Mixer. This paired with the App Audio Mixer are 
amazing for me gaming with my friends. Um, sometimes I don't like tabbing out of games, and I bet some of you can understand that, how much of a pain in the butt it is to tab out of a game, to change volume, and I like playing Escape from Tarkov with some of my friends, and tabbing out to change volume is what can immediately make your night go from good to awful because something happens while you're tabbed out and then you're just irritated the rest of the night. So that's really neat. So like I said, we can use this one right here. We'll actually let us adjust all the playback volume and stuff of programs. And then this one right here, the Discord one, if I click on it, um, it actually shows different people that are in my Discord, the percentage of the volume that's set for them and even being able to adjust the volume up or down or even mute myself directly in this menu and it populates for all the different people that you have in here so if you had 20 or 30 people you would just keep tabbing through pages and you can adjust the volume of them like so i can even click on somebody's name specifically and it changes them directly to muted which is really really neat because that's all you have to do to have customization inside of something like discord so yeah, that was kind of a shorter one because it has one main function. This next one has quite a bit more function and that is OBS tools by Bar Raider. Um, the default OBS stuff that comes in here is actually pretty stripped down and I don't really care for it. Um, you can change scenes, set mixer audio, record stream, and then select sources or toggle them on and off, I believe. It, it's not that great, um, but Bar Raider has came to the rescue with some OBS tools and we can do so much more. We can set things to uh, check out the browser sources, CPU usage, drop frames, the, the list goes on and on. And I'll actually show you what mine kind of looks like here. So the way I've got this set up is I can launch OBS with this button. I can set my profile, I can set scenes. I've got my lighting, my oh got a lighting set up through this, not through this specifically, but through the stream deck. And then the rest of this stuff, like being able to record with the press of a button, that's set up through a uh, Bar Raider OBS plugin and even being able to change all the scenes. There's so much more stuff in here that I'm actually not utilizing, but if you want complete control over your live stream and something like OBS or Streamlabs OBS, this is the way to go because you can adjust absolutely everything you need to right from this Elgato Stream Deck. Number five, another Elgato Stream Deck plugin for gamers, and that is Shadow Play by Bar Raider. Once again, I believe what, three out of five of these plugins are by Bar Raider that we're talking about, but Shadow Play is really neat. So if you have a NVIDIA graphics card and you know what Shadow Play is, it's essentially lets you live stream, it lets you record, take screenshots, and even set up like flashback style recording all with your graphics card and not really seeing much of a performance hit. And I really like that. And the reason why I like the Shadow Play plugin is because I can set stuff like being able to toggle FPS with the press of a button, being able to save clips um, directly with the press of a button, or even just start recording, once again, all with the press of a button. And we can even do things like custom filters for our games that support it through um, NVIDIA's Shadow Play. And there's just a bunch of cool settings in here as well. Mainly the FPS counter is really nice for games that I don't know what buttons to press or even if I can turn it on. I have the ability to do so now and it's really nice to have that functionality. So you can kind of also see if you watch my video on me reviewing this, I kind of talk about this a little bit more, the layouts and the practical design that I'm trying to use and approach for how I have my scenes set up. But we can see that this right here is kind of my main scene. This is where I stay. Um, and then the second one has set up for gaming, third one for recording or live streaming. And then my fourth one is for me working on YouTube channel stuff. So we could see kind of how we have a layout for that. And the thing is about this that I, can't stop selling, trying to sell people on um, because I think this is a great uh, tool for productivity and being able to utilize some of these plugins is going to be useful for you no matter if you're gaming, you're working on stuff or you're just a Windows Power user. The last thing I do wanna throw in, this is like a bonus tip. Um, I've actually started using Super Macro by Bar Raider and I've set up macros and stuff to be able to, and I know this says OG, but we also have something that's called movie mode and I've got this set so where my two monitors actually turn off, uh, Netflix gets launched on the top TV and it focuses that as the main screen. So these monitors aren't pushing off any light whenever I'm just trying to sit in here and enjoy watching a movie and not have a bunch of other lights going on at the same time. So it's really neat to see that we can set up stuff with these plugins. And if you are, like I said, a Windows Power user, maybe check out Super Macro and see what cool things you can cook up with that. Um, OG just kind of takes it back to all my monitors. I'm gonna rename these and make labels and stuff for them in just a little bit. But I thought that was something cool to throw in for those of you that were like, what is that stuff? Because, you know, bonus tip.
So alright guys, that's gonna be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead, destroy that like button, get subscribed, and turn on notifications for future videos from How To Tech. Let me know in the comments section down below, what are your favorite plugins that you found for the Elgato Stream Deck, or what are some Stream Deck plugins that you think that they should go ahead and implement a feature for? Because there's a few things I've been thinking about that would be really cool to go ahead and have another plugin for that, just to make the Stream Deck even more versatile than it is. But with things like macro keys and everything being able to set up in side of the software already, it can do those, but it would just be nice to see the API functionality of just being able to drag and drop and set up some even more stuff that uh, we can use this Elgato Stream Deck for. So let me know if you guys have any recommendations there or any other cool things that I possibly didn't cover in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.